your WCBX pinpoint weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Started with some early morning sunshine across the Tennessee Valley, but then the cloud cover filtered in through the second half of the morning and it's kind of stuck with us through the duration of the afternoon and even now as we head into the evening. We didn't see any rain fall from this cloud cover this afternoon, but it did prevent our temperatures from warming up. We'll get to that in just a second. The rain we didn't see is really okay because we don't necessarily need the rain. Huntsville International has seen 142% of what would be considered a normal amount of rain over a 30-day period. Florence has seen 82%. Scottsboro has seen 133%. And even on the lower end of the spectrum, Fayetteville has seen 71% of what would be considered a normal amount of rain in a 30-day period. So we don't necessarily need the rain. And when you look at 2020 as a whole, we really don't need the rain. So far this year, we have seen 41.37 inches. That is right around 76% of our yearly average rainfall, which is 54.34. There are small opportunities for rain in the forecast, mostly sunny on Thursday morning, but then just like the last couple of days, the cloud cover builds in through Thursday afternoon. And we'll talk about the chance for a couple of very light hit or miss showers across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Then it's that same rinse and repeat process where the cloud cover fizzles out during the overnight, builds back in through the first half of Friday afternoon. And once again, we'll talk about the chance of a passing shower. Temperatures again failed to warm up this afternoon. We only saw highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Scottsboro saw 77. Arab and Albertville also saw 77. Folks across northwest Alabama, Florence, Russellville, and Moulton did actually climb into the lower 80s. As it stands right now, we're already beginning to cool off. Almost everybody's sitting in the mid and upper 70s. Some folks, Arab, Albertville, Coleman, already sitting in the lower 70s, mid and upper 70s up across southern middle Tennessee. Tonight we cool off into the lower 60s. I've got a low right around 62 degrees. We're still watching our friend this area of low pressure, but through Thursday afternoon, this area of low pressure is going to continue to move north and west a little bit. As it moves north and west, it does look like it is going to begin to weaken. It continues to move north on Friday, and then we kind of begin to see this upper level ridge develop. That's going to move in once we get to the weekend, and that's going to set the stage for some warmer air across the Tennessee Valley. And you can see that here in the seven day forecast. Overall, it's a nice seven day. I've got 88 on Friday, but look at that. Come Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, highs are hanging out in the lower 90s. Saturday is the first day of summer, and Sunday's Father's Day, Mike.